In this video, I want to show you how we can transform the default bar chart in Excel or PowerPoint into a professional looking bar chart in eight steps. We start with the default bar chart that you can create in Excel or PowerPoint. Step one is to arrange the bars in ranked order. By default, even though you've ranked the data in your table that you're using for the graph from largest value to smallest value, the default bar chart order is in what many people would think reverse. So we need to rank it so that the top is at the top value is at the top of the chart. To do this, we just simply use the categories in reverse order setting for the vertical axis. Step two is to increase the ratio of the bars to the background. By default, the bars don't take up nearly as much space as the background. That's because the gap width setting is set to 182%. The gap width is the measurement of the gap between adjacent bars, and the percentage refers to the percentage of the width of the bar. So the background is more than one and a half times as wide as the bar. I suggest we set it to 50% gap width so the bars have more presence on the chart and are the focus of the audience. Step three, remove the legend. At the bottom, there's a legend that is just simply drawn from the data table. In most cases, it's not necessary in a bar graph because we're going to use a meaningful title to give the audience context for this chart. When we remove it, the bar chart gets bigger and has more presence on the screen for the viewer. Step four, we add data labels and remove grid lines. The grid lines are those vertical lines that run from the top to the bottom of the chart. The idea of a grid line is, is that the audience is supposed to look at the end of the bar and move their eyes up to try to figure out what the value is. Instead, why don't we just put data labels on the end of each bar? It gives the audience the exact number and now we don't need the grid lines. Step five, clean up the axes. The horizontal axis has a number of segments, each with a number, to tell you that it starts at zero, ends at 30%. Now that we have our data labels, in most cases, it's not necessary. If you do need to indicate to your audience that you are starting at zero and not some other value, use a minimalist axis, which has only the zero value and the maximum value. On the vertical axis, there's a line on the left side of all the bars. Everybody can see they line up on the left side, so we don't really need that line. And when we remove those, we have a much cleaner graph. It's easier for people to understand and focus on the data in this bar chart. Step six, add text that explains the message. By default, the title is simply drawn from the series name. What we want to do is to we, we want to add a message title, a title that indicates to the audience what it is that they're supposed to understand from this particular bar chart. Step seven, increase the font sizes so they're easy to read. By default, the fonts are quite small in any chart. When we increase the font size, we make those fonts much more readable and the text much easier for the audience to read and understand. And step eight, use color to focus attention. By default, all of the bars are the same color, so none of them stand out. By focusing the audience with a bold color for the one bar we want to stand out and using a muted gray color for the other bars, we still have all the data on the chart, but the audience immediately looks at the one data point, the one bar that we want them to look at. So we've transformed the default bar chart into a professional bar chart. We started with our default and through those eight steps, we transformed it into a professional looking bar chart. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.